We'd like to play with the words of Hunter Thompson, who said that it's better to be shot out of a cannon than squeezed from a tomb. That's something we've always strived for, is a very explosive form of power. If you wrote it to the coffee shop and back, I promise you, when you got back, you'd be different. We are only going to build 50 motorcycles this year. The big firms would make that many motorcycles in an hour. It's a little bit like having a McDonald's meal versus going to your grandfather's house and having him make a uh, cheeseburger and homemade cut fries on the grill at the family reunion. What we see here is a completely machine billet case. This is the heart of the bike, yeah. this is where the, where the bike starts from, 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 from this on out. You can see this is, comes out of a huge block of aluminum. This is what some of the racing engines look like. This is as high tech as it gets on crankcases. When we began, we developed a simple theme for our effort, which is rebellion. The approach would be to organically nurture each individual that came to work with us, to allow them the maximum amount of individual freedom. We create design in the most uncompromised way, seeking idea construction from the bottom up. The bike is, is, is actually the X132 Hellcat Combat, 132 cubic inch SNS motor and it's got twin intakes, so that, that gives us a lot of additional power. This is as American as it, can, as, it, as it gets. There are no forged or cast parts on the bike, these are all handmade. We've got carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber fender, we've got a homofocal headlamp. How long aluminum and billet parts swing on, you can go pretty fast on this. I'm a fan of Oscar Wilde's witticisms, and he had said, great industrial design fuses the power and the beauty line into a singularity. This is the F120 fighter. This tube here is the oil tank, and this tube down here is the, is the fuel. Very minimalist seat, very small. The nice thing about this is the, 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 the decoration is actually created by the functionality of the thing. If you removed anything on the bike, then it suddenly wouldn't function anymore. The aesthetic of the motorcycle, first and foremost as, as an American road bike, had to be and must and shall always be original. There is a notion of avant-gardism. There's also a touch of tradition, of wanting to pay homage to those who came before us. This is a Wraith B120. Once again, all motor, but this time it's all carbon fiber, so it's all composite, the most modern material you can use. This has been stripped to the extreme. You don't have a fuel tank, oil is in the backbone, you just have a seat on there because you actually have to sit on something. I perceive it as a, as a very avant-garde board tracker, which is the most iconic form of American racing. The greatest aesthetic expression of rebellion for us has been to take very, very focused minimalism taking everything away, no covers, really showcasing the rough and free workmanship and fusing that with emotion, with passion, with a sense of romantic, burning desire. What I seek in my, in my relationship with the motorcycle is a union of my being with the machine as one. And the, the Hellcat Combat right now is by far the closest I have ever come to, uh, to a pure man-machine interface.